What's up beautiful people? Today we're going to be checking out Israel's top 5 newest military innovations. Let's get to it. In a small country surrounded by hostile enemies, Israel heavily relies on its technology and innovations to gain a significant edge on the battlefield. Here are Israel's top 5 newest military innovations. Before we get into the video, if you are military, law enforcement, or are a civilian with a high level of tactical gear knowledge, you can apply to Agilite's gear testing program. Selected applicants receive product samples, videos, or questionnaires regarding gear or concepts still in development, free of charge. Click the link in the description below to apply. Now, back to the video. Free of charge. Number 5. Merkava 5. Israel's Merkava series of tanks have been a game changer since 1979. These unique tanks have helped them conquer the battlefield and turn tough situations into victories. The latest edition, Merkava 5, is set to be one of the best tanks in the world. The Merkava 5 represents a significant leap forward from its predecessor, introducing major improvements to enhance tank usability on the battlefield. With the crew benefiting from a 360-degree camera system, the tank gains unprecedented visibility. In addition, its external automated machine gun has the ability to detect and engage potential threats, improving its defensive capabilities. Wow, so the AI system is already in, in all these ammo cars and things. It's getting scary. I thought it was just in like electric cars, but ammo cars and weaponry have gotten all these AI systems already. Additionally, the tank features advanced sensors for reconnaissance and target identification, surpassing what was previously achievable in similar situations. The tank's commander is equipped with a cutting-edge helmet, similar to the ones used in the F-35, which displays essential information. This includes potential targets, recommended ammunition, and visual cues, providing the commander with crucial information on the battlefield. The tank's upgrades are also useful in large-scale battles, as its highly advanced computer systems can send information to other units and tanks in the area. The Merkava 5 is set to be one of the most advanced and dangerous tanks in the world. Hmm. Number 4. K-0 Plate Carrier Special Forces body armor has stagnated for decades, and repeated attempts to make it smaller just made it uncomfortable. Israeli Special Forces wanted a system that solved their problems of having to carry a lot of gear on high-risk missions in extremely confined spaces. In a collaboration with American Special Forces, they pulled thousands of operators and created the K-0, the first plate carrier made using deep data. It solved all of the comfort and functionality issues with modern plate carriers, irregardless of the size or body shape of the wearer. The end result involved several patents that allow it to carry different loads that change constantly and allow the wearer to have zero bulk in helicopters, boats, close quarter combat, vehicles, and in underground warfare. The K-0 uses both traditional and composite materials and custom-developed hardware to allow it to accommodate side armor, radios, new digital battlefield devices and other equipment without being heavy or bulky. Since its debut, the K-0 plate carrier has earned a reputation as being the most comfortable plate carrier available and has been adopted by the most prestigious special forces and clandestine security agencies in numerous countries around the world. Number 3. Machine Learning AI in 2021, wow. the, you see what I was just talking about? the IDF dubbed Operation Guardian of the Walls as the first AI war. Then, in 2023, during Operation Shield and Arrow, Israel unveiled its use of machine learning AI to successfully identify and target terrorists, resulting in the discovery, capture, or elimination of over 400 terrorists. In times of conflict, commanders must act quickly and rely on the best available data without delving into every detail. In today's high-speed information era, we are faced with an overwhelming flow of data from various digital devices such as phones, satellites, street cameras, and even watches. This mass of information means that every terrorist leaves behind a substantial digital footprint. These footprints can either lead to a major discovery or to a dead end. Hmm. That's why the Israeli intelligence community developed one of the world's most advanced AI and machine learning algorithms. This technology helps them process vast amounts of information swiftly and make informed decisions for their security and success on the battlefield. Unit 8200 of the IDF Intelligence Corps took the lead in developing the AI and machine learning algorithms capable of sifting through the sea of information to identify specific targets. 
while the algorithms I think China also has a, a technology like this that's currently being used code remains highly classified some aspects of the detection method have been partially revealed the AI begins by identifying a known group of targets then gathers relevant information to find any connections between them once all the required data is collected it prioritizes the targets based on their level of relevance and danger dealing with the most critical threats first the AI handles the heavy lifting, but target selection remains in the hands of humans. AI and machine learning enhance the intelligence core's speed and precision, reducing detection time from hours to minutes, while also optimizing munitions usage, strike timing, and minimizing casualties. Hmm. Number 2. That's crazy. Namer 1500. So very soon, everything with military and um, dealing with insurgency is going to be AI detected is that a good thing should we give ai that much control what if it starts fighting us don't know the original namer constructed from old centurion tanks has been one of the idf's most reliable allies safely transporting troops in and out of combat zones the upgraded namer now features a 360 degree camera system allowing soldiers to enhance their situational awareness by being able to look outside the transporter Additionally, it's equipped with a remote-controlled weapon station, enabling soldiers to shoot from inside the vehicle. The Namer boasts an upgraded engine that significantly enhances its speed and maneuverability. The Namer also received upgrades based on soldiers' feedback, including simple but essential features like improved air conditioning and cooled water systems. These enhancements provide a breath of fresh air to soldiers returning from tough missions. Since its introduction, the Namer has been part of every single war and operation in Israel. Its upgrades are a welcome change for any soldier coming in or out of the battlefield. Number 1. Skysonic Hypersonic missiles have become a new frontier in the ballistic missiles Cold War, with China, Russia, and North Korea claiming to have already developed missiles that can achieve five times the speed of sound. On June wow. 6, 2023, Iran officially revealed its first ever hypersonic missile, claiming that their rocket could reach Mach 15 and beyond. With a range of 1,400 kilometers, the missile could potentially reach Israel within a mere 400 seconds, equivalent to just six minutes. Iran claimed that the missile is so fast that no defense systems in the world can intercept or stop their attack. A week later at the 2023 Paris Air Show, Israel revealed that it has already been developing a first-of-its-kind hypersonic missile defense system, the Skysonic. Similar to the formidable Iron Dome and David Sling, the Skysonic defense system utilizes advanced detection and tracking methods to locate incoming projectiles. Once the target is identified, the interception occurs at altitudes ranging from 20 to 70 kilometers surpassing the capabilities of most modern anti-aircraft systems. The Skysonic employs a two-step interception process. First, a direct hit on the incoming projectile, followed by an explosion to completely neutralize the threat. With the Skysonic, Israel has once again demonstrated its ability to anticipate the threat posed by Iran and has become the pioneer in developing the world's first anti-supersonic missile defense system. Hmm. For more videos on Israeli special forces and their... Wow. wow, that was an intense video. The engineering is good. Don't get me wrong. I love engineering and tech. But as far as the usage, no, it's not good. We should not be using it. We should have no reason. Because what are we fighting against? Humans against humans. Like, if they were like aliens who are using this thing against, then it will make sense. But I don't know if it will make sense at the point. I mean, if they are fighting us, we should fight back. But we should not be using this against ourselves, you know. Anyways, let me know what you think about that video. The tech was so impressive, but a concern here is the AI and machinery and killing and target selection and all of those things. What if it gets in the wrong hands? Let's say a terrorist group gets this, you know, the patent or some something that they can also use this kind of, um, you know, use this kind of technology. Wouldn't they use it for assassination? Yeah, that's always the scary part of, of AI and machine learning. If it gets in the wrong hands, you know, it's, it's going to be a problem. But let me know what you think about that video. Share your thoughts. Smash the like button. Subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I made this bed on my own.